Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's topic is breast milk and its importance. What is breast milk? It is the milk produced in the mammary gland that is pressed by a lactating woman during pregnancy to feed the child. Why is breast milk important for the baby? Breast milk is important because it is species appropriate milk. Human milk is meant for human babies. It contains exactly the right levels of nutrients that the baby needs, unlike the formula which is present in cow's milk tailored to a calf. It contains long chain fatty acids required for and are essential for human brain growth, which are not included in most formulas. It contains antibodies against diseases and white blood cells for the immune system, which is also not present in the formula. It fulfills a baby's biological need to breastfeed from its mother and helps to safeguard the baby's emotional health throughout life. Breastfeeding mothers don't get as much breast cancer as mothers who have never breastfed. How is the breast milk produced? Under the influence of the hormones prolactin and oxytocin, women produce milk and after childbirth to feed the baby. The milk ejection reflex mechanism works here. The milk is transported from the breast alveoli to the nipple sucked by the baby which stimulates the paraventricular nucleus and supraoptic nucleus in the hypothalamus which signals to the posterior pituitary gland to produce oxytocin. Oxytocin stimulates contraction of the myoepithelial cells surrounding the alveoli which already holds the milk. The increased pressure causes milk to flow through the duct system and get released through the nipple. This response can be conditioned, for example, to the cry of the baby. A healthy mother will produce about 500 to 800 milliliter of milk per day with about 500 kilocalorie per day. What is the composition of breast milk? Breast milk contains complex proteins, lipids, carbohydrates and other biologically active components. The composition changes over a single feed as well as over the period of lactation. What is colostrum? The initial milk produced is referred to as colostrum, which is high in the immunoglobulin IgA, which coats the gastrointestinal tract. This helps to protect the newborn until its own immune system is functioning properly. It also creates a mild laxative effect, expelling meconium and helping to prevent the buildup of bilirubin, a contributory factor in jaundice. Colostrum will gradually change to become mature milk. In the first 3-4 to four days, it will appear thin and watery and will taste very sweet. Later, the milk will become thicker and creamier. Human milk quenches the baby's thirst and hunger and also provides proteins, sugars, minerals and antibodies that the baby needs. What are the diseases preventable by breast milk? In addition to providing essential nourishment to infants, human milk that is breast milk has a number of valuable uses, especially medicinal uses for both the children and the adults. It has been used medicinally for thousands of years. Breast milk contains strong antibodies and antitoxins that many people believe promote healing and better overall health. However, breast milk lacks sterile and antiseptic properties if a nursing mother is infected with certain communicable diseases such as HIV and CMV cytomegalovirus as breast milk can transmit such diseases to the infants and other people. Thus, it is avoidable in such situations. Breast milk has been used as a home remedy for minor ailments such as conjunctivitis, insect bites and stings, contact dermatitis and infected wounds, burns and abrasions. Breast milk has also been used alternatively to boost the immune system of ill persons having viral gastroenteritis, influenza, common cold, pneumonia, etc. because of its immunological properties. However, breast milk should never be seen or constructed as a cure-all. 
Some medical experts are convinced that breast milk can induce apoptosis in some types of cancer cells. However, more researches and evidences are needed in this area for cancer treatment. What is the right time to start breastfeeding? Breastfeeding should ideally start within one hour after your baby is born for all conditions including normal delivery, forceps delivery and cesarean section delivery. A baby is usually alert after birth and will spontaneously seek the breast if left undisturbed in skin to skin contact with their mother's body. What are the conditions when you should not breastfeed your child? Breastfeeding is not advisable if one or more of the following conditions is true. An infant diagnosed with galactosemia, a rare genetic metabolic disorder. An infant whose mother has been infected with the human immunodeficiency virus, is taking antiretroviral medications, has untreated active tuberculosis, is infected with human T-cell lymphotropic virus type 1 or type 2, is using or is dependent upon an illicit drug, is taking prescribed cancer chemotherapy agents such as antipetabolites that interfere with DNA replication and cell division, is undergoing radiation therapies. However, such nuclear medicine therapies require only a temporary interruption in breastfeeding. Do hit the like button if you have found this video helpful. Check the description box below for more information. Share this video with your friends and if you have any query, feel free to comment below.